Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Uh, this is the legendary Iron Man exquisite timing run where we're trying to beat the game as fast as possible in four and a half months on legendary Iron Man difficulty with permanent dark events. Um, it's going good so far. We are at the beginning of June, so one and a half months to go. And the next mission is Operation Doomstorm, where we're uh, going to destroy an alien relay in order to get intel and more importantly counter a pretty nasty dark event. We want to have that intel because we need all the intel we can get in order to reach the two remaining goals before we can go to Waterworld. Um, that's number one, uh, the gate with the gatekeeper, and number two um, uh, would be the uh, suit. So the big um, facility with the suit. Our team for today in uh, this mission should be probably those four individuals. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. Um, our sniper uh, needs some ammunition we still don't have any weapon upgrades or any armor upgrades so the only thing that we do have is a bit of ammunition wrath who is carrying this run is going to go in with tail and rounds making his weapon even more deadly uh, boom boom is going to change the loadout a tiny bit uh, instead of a flashbang we're going to go in with an acid grenade and yeah we're going to have some healing as well. So that's all we have for now. I am eagerly looking forward to see what's in the mission. The problem is we're again facing Advent, um, Advent Max, and that had historically been our weak point. We don't have a lot of um, uh, armor penetration so far. All right, here we go. Only seven turns. Oh, I hate those um, underground train missions. Gosh, that's pretty damn far away. And we only got seven turns. Holy moly. Well, that's a fair amount of distance that we have to travel in order to get there. Luckily, we do have a Reaper. And that means we can at least take a look what we're fighting uh, what we're fighting against. Oh, that's a nasty patrol. We now got elite um, troopers. You can see those here with nine hit points. Two, four, six. Yep, nine hit points. Okay, so in order to do that properly, let's get our sniper into a good position. Boom, boom. And Magic Men are going to go in as fast and as far as they can. Not sure about this pack here. It's pretty scary. Hmm, so... If we were to start with a grenade... Then what type of grenade would we take? If we were to take the acid grenade... And kind of just toss it in here... Oh gosh, that's difficult to land. <laughs> you gotta love XCOM 2 for its cheeky way of just shooting things through walls, right? There we go. Um, so that would get rid of all of uh, their armor. 
but wouldn't kill them immediately. It would at least strip them, which I think is... It's probably going to help us. Uh, the problem that I'm seeing is it's not going to help us a lot. So how about we're just keeping the speed here. Are you kidding me? We can't see. I threw it. I threw it there, but we're no longer able to see it. That just stinks. All right, so it's incredibly wasteful to do what I'm currently doing, uh, and I wouldn't do it in any other situation. But I don't want to use uh, lose the sh uh, the shrapnel without it even having an effect. So we're going to launch the shrapnel with a grenade. That just killed everyone. Almost. The mech might be alive. Yep, not only might, the mech is well and alive. Who's keeping score? Good, so uh, let's move in. And let's get our sniper in a high ground sniping position. We wasted a lot of our resources to get an early and fast position here. The only grenade that we have left over is an acid grenade and seeing that we're now having the chosen here, the acid grenade is going to go uh, for uh, to remove uh, the armor from the chosen. We got a problem. She can now summon uh, mechanical units and uh, we definitely need to save our cooldowns for her, specifically the Lightning Hands cooldown, because she has bewildering shots, meaning uh, that if she is got uh, getting hit three times or more, she takes extra damage every single time. Keep in mind that the shots um, with a pistol are excellent options to do that. By the way, you can see we do have potential pack right here An alien patrol. well not only a potential pack we do have very much a pack here purifier you know what let's try to hit the purifier because he can explode and if he explodes there we go Viper dodged, but Viper is now burning, and the burning Viper means it cannot do anything. And it'll just take damage. Sure, if by the way, went for an overwatch with our specialist because we do have the advanced stock here. And the advanced stock means even if our um, even if our grenadier misses, he would have still dealt two damage. So that was a m m small mistake here. Could have played that a bit better. Objective 
is inside, Commander. Good. We know there are three sectoids. to hit them right away. Tired of waiting around. Let's use the time to reload. Fortunately no remote start here. Still got four more rounds so we should be fine. Uh, the biggest concern now is the chosen so reloading and overwatch and we're taking another overwatch just in case if uh, the sectoids are moving we still have two overwatch uh, watches against them Good. I bet you that the Chosen might be on this side. Good, we could move over here and start the encounter with the three sectors. Hmm. There are advantages in doing that. There are also advantages in hitting all three of them with a nice little grenade. Well, we can't hit all three, but we could hit two. But then we're going to have a problem with the Chosen. So I would like to keep the grenade for the Chosen. Could move over here. Yeah, let's start the encounter with them. Good, so number one. Let's deal with them one at a time here. I said a critical strike, by the way, super good shot. Love it. Seven points of damage. That means we just got to deal some more damage and we're fine. Here I come. Moving into a position where we can also see the target. And let's try to finish the sector. That was awesome. Well done. Let's try to hit this sector here. It's only two points of damage, unfortunately. Well, it's only a 40% chance to crit. We don't have Sting anymore. But we need the damage, so I'm going to risk even uh, that we're going to be seen. Luckily we're not. We scored a crit and just killed it. It's probably going to be a 
Resurrection, yep. Good. So moving in means we would flank um, the sector. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. That's another kill. Trying to level him. That's why we're giving him the kills. Let's reload and start chopping down the target. That's good. And once we're at it. I'll just get a little bit closer to my friends because I'm pretty sure that the Chosen will be with us very, very soon. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. This is your last chance to take out that relay. Where will you possibly run that I cannot find you? Good, so that's one down. We're reloading and let's take a pistol shot. That's enough for the device. Great, we finished the mission. We confirmed destruction of the relay. The alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. Reloaded. Good, boom boom, reloaded as well. Tired of waiting around. Getting into a little bit better position over here. And just because I know how fast the Chosen can strike, trying to spot her, that's not as easy as it might seem. She could be everywhere at this point. I think she spawned like back here. I go where you tell me. Okay. Blue movement with everyone, for now. Let's do this. Not very surprising that we haven't spotted her. The overwatches are actually pointless at this uh, stage because she's immune to overwatch, so she just does not trigger it. I still think we might be able to catch her back here. Oh, look at that. She just teleported herself over there. Funny, isn't it? Let's move already. And guess who's going to eat that Tasty, tasty acid grenade right there. Nice one. Hope you choke on that acid burn. Moving into full cover and moving into full cover. Yeah, I don't want to attack her or lose our concealment yet. Hmm, interestingly enough, she's still 
taking damage from the asset. Ooh, that would be a good hit. I love it. Great. Can't really see her. Let's do this. Understood. Moving out. Everyone's in full cover for now. Except for Magic Man. Good, she's still taking the acid damage. Well, you just revealed yourself over there. Alright, we could move in. I want to be careful, so let's really carefully move in. And next turn we're going to gang, gang up on her. Okay, 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 okay. So here we go. Moving up. Why wouldn't we able why wouldn't we be able to see her? That just does not really make any sense. Okay, one more turn. <laughs> I want to get this right. Reload Overwatch. This area here seems to be a little bit bugged. Okay, yet another try. The elders grant me Moving in. And with it, I am everywhere. You bested me before, but my color. Nice little hit, good job. Wherever they may wander. That's one of the chosen. Heads up. And you have to do better than that. Moving up. Very nice. She's now burning and has acid on her. Now she has bewildering shots on her. Gotta position myself here and elsewhere we're not able to hit her. Uh oh, we're going to take a shot. Oh, come on! Oh, wow.
I very much officially call bullshit on that one. Okay. Luckily, she's burning. Now we gotta deal with that mechanized uh, beast here. Back into the shadows. And it is very hard to maneuver, believe it or not. Moving up. And I just want to make sure that we're hitting this thing. Nope, we're not going to do that same mistake again. We'll get her eventually. The wind carries me. Are you prepared to face the elders chosen? Vanishing winds, okay. Well she can't escape from that island over there. So, how about we're doing exactly what we should be doing, which is running like little schoolgirls and trying to retreat and re um, regroup right here. There we go. The schoolgirl method has worked. She now can't see us, um, so no more sneakery do here. Damn it! One of our soldiers is down. They're vulnerable to the chosen's attacks in that state. Get them back on their feet ASAP. Good. Moving in. Getting our friend back up. What's going on? I think we can do better. Let's move up. Yeah, that's much better. Come on. Now that she is burning, she shouldn't be able to retaliate with her shots. Yeah, we're just going to take the normal shot. Come on. All right. That was a nasty encounter. I already started hating my life for fighting against her and two other chosen on the last mission. First and foremost, we showed the chosen who's boss. That's what we did. Good, and we're landing. Let's take a good look. I want promotions, a lot of them. I call bullshit on this one. I actually felt we deserved a promotion. 
Wrath here has done such a nice job. Yeah, and all we uh, got uh, was AD Intel, and we covered, uh, we countered a pretty nasty dark event, so I guess that's worth it. Intel is fine. I'm still concerned about our speed of getting to the target location. We did not have any option. Yeah, not. Good, so what do we want? And there's a promotion in here for nine days and a facility lead, that's not bad. There's another promotion here. If we were to take a promotion, like who who would benefit from being promoted? Probably Jessica Rabbit. And Spitfire could help her. We don't want a soldier being captured. And a facility lead on top of it is fine. I'm more after the promotion at this point. So that's good. I like it. Uh, Shadow Chamber, five days. I hope we can speed up the process in making contact. That's the biggest problem by far June 1 uh, we gotta speed this up unfortunately the access to the facilities will also not give us um, any speed up uh, speed up the only speed up we could get is a random um, a hack uh, that uh, that would allow to basically reduce the scanning time for the Avenger by 50% for the next four weeks. That's usually a pretty difficult hack to even get. Um, and that is only in city missions, so probably rescue the VIP or protect the device, that sort. It, it never um, happens from, uh, from these facilities. The other option is to get another covert oper uh, operation. So a resistance order um, in 11 days, we'll get another slate of missions and maybe we can get that. Highly unlikely though. Those are our two options. Let's take a look. Uh, squad size one, yes please. Squad size two, yes please. Not even going to think about that like that's such a no-brainer at this point to go in with uh, six instead of four. Huge, huge benefit for us to um, now finally be able to do that. Clearing the alien debris. Uh, this here could lead to an infir infirmary. And I guess that's good as well. I'm not worried that we're that we're going to beat the game. I think that that is very likely, but I'm worried that we're not going to make it until July 15th. Advanced stifles movement of resistance resources. A 50% uh, supply reduction. Okay, um, yeah, that's fine. Good. So this is important, guys. We really need to have the black side vial coordinates. That needs to be at a location which is near. Nothing like too crazily far away. Let's continue with the plated armor for now. We definitely need the armor upgrade. So where is where is that? Okay, Australia. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not too bad, actually. Hmm. That is not too bad. Six days, 12 days, 18 days, 
24 days, both of the missions. We need to put another um, another tower up here. So we were 24 days, that's another 6, 30 days. Uh, it's going to be a na nail biter and we need to do both of the missions. These findings will likely prove crucial nice. Holy shit. And instant faceless autopsy. I'm not go even going to think about that. That's uh, the mimic beacon right there. Hello. Yeah, thank you. Mutant autopsy, eight days. That would be um, the option to get plasma uh, grenades. I think we're going for magnetic weapons. No, we are actually not gonna. Hmm. Are we? We need to do. We need to do the shadow uh, chamber research. We need to continue that. But in the meantime, I mean, we could start, I suppose. Viper autopsy for better med kits. It's not bad. But five days is not worth it. So yeah, maybe we're even maybe we even have the chance to get laser weapons. Um, but we we will never know because first of all we're going to get the encrypted codex data uh, deciphered because that's the golden path. And we're always going to follow the golden pass first, uh, first, which means magnetic weapons for now are on pause. Yep. In terms of engineering, mimic beacons are so helpful. Sixty alien alloys for an upgrade of uh, predator armor. Oh yeah, we're going to do that. And we're probably going to get a Mimic Beacon as well, but only after we got uh, the Predator upgrade. So super quick um, detour to the uh, Black Market in the hopes of getting some alien uh, alloys here. Forty-five into mm -hmm. can't can't justify that. I can't justify that. Let's shortly calculate, shall we? So this is one hundred sixty, definitely. I am speculating that we'll find some sort of uh, half the next contact type of uh, scan. So 160, 320, uh, plus 80, that's 400, and another 160, 560, 560. We maybe even need to bite the bullet here. And to 180 and 240. On the other hand, getting the alien alloys will mean that the missions will be substantially easier, but 45 intel is a lot. I don't want to lose the game by missing intel at the end so i'm going to play it hardcore we do not have the alien alloys hence we cannot get the upgrade of the predator armor yet Commander, the aliens have made significant progress yeah there's another facility who cares
Good. We got nice new regional contacts. Perfect. The local resistance operatives we just made contact with in this region. And that's the uh, second chosen. That's a pretty bad intel that they've collected. Okay, so that's 240 intel. We can't let that happen, which means this is exactly what I mentioned. We got to install a radio relay, and the biggest problem here is it takes six days. Gotta hate your life when everything takes so much time. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, we can't let that happen. Uh, we got to fight the, um, the Chosen here, and we need to stop it. If we're losing uh, Western Europe, uh, Eastern Europe here, then the if we lose the mission, essentially we would lose uh, that whole area, and that would mean it's probably GG uh, with the achievement. So we got to win this. This is a... Uh, uh, must win mission. Enemy unknown means that is the chosen. Advent mech, advent stun lancer, advent purifier. The rest is okay. From an engineering perspective, a couple of things that I'm interested in. Let's first of all see if we know anything about the chosen. Ah, yeah, okay, cool. Immune to melee damage, um, regeneration, uh, advers adversary skirmishers, and he very much takes more damage from a shotgun to the face. That's good to know. It will not be a walk in the park against him, specifically due to the regeneration. Um, let's take a look here. Is there anything we'd like to purchase? The Mimic Beacon is incredibly tasty. I hate you, Alien Alloys. So I definitely hate you. We got the Trooper Corpses. We got everything ready. Um, GTS. By the way, do we still have a rookie? Yeah. Great. Make that rookie a specialist. Thank you. Okay, uh, we could increase the hacking now. We don't need that yet. We do have six soldiers this time. So let's purchase a mimic beacon. Gotta keep 300 supplies. We could afford another Mimic Beacon, theoretically. Do we want that? Mm. You know what? It might save our lives, so let's get a second Mimic Beacon. And in terms of our team that we're going to take, it's going to be Wrath. Uh, we might actually get a Templar with us. Uh, Wrath, Sane, Specialist, one Grenadier, Boss is a Sharpshooter. You know what? We could take a second Grenadier as well. That might not even be bad. The Chosen is immune to melee attacks and the Squatty Templar, no offense against uh, that, I think it's still a decent class, but I think we're so far behind the curve now. I got to I gotta somewhat fight with what we have been uh, having available, so it's going to be those classes. And yeah, that's going to happen next, uh, next time. 
it's on the edge guys it's really really close um, there might be might be an, a possibility how i can squeeze this out as a win um, so stay tuned if you like the run and if you like the content uh, don't forget to subscribe or even better tell one of your friends about uh, my channel so that they come along um, as well i love continuing and love to hear from you see you in the next run bye bye